Good morning, hikers. Well, the sun peaked out for a few hours, so I thought I'd come back to Sparkling Hills. We've got snow. Snow, snow, snow. It's about minus four. And this uh, beautiful valley over there, you've got behind that ridge is a Kalamalka Lake. Down in the distance here, we've got the Monashies and Lumbee. And then here we've got Sparkling Hills. Here's the trail map again. And we're at the trail head this time, so you'll be able to see this uh, lovely section today. Black. Now I've got micro spikes on, that's going to be super helpful. Definitely don't need anything like snowshoes. At least, not lately, it hasn't snowed. But it's supposed to coming up, so. Got the sun, got no snow. Beautiful time to show you this. Yeah, I mean, as I mentioned in my last Sparkling Hill video, we're getting into birding. Now that we live here. Because there's such a variety. And now this is our first winter, well, full winter. We can get an idea of what sticks around. See more of the resort view. So when you book here, you'll have mountain view, and Lakeview. Lakeview you spend more, obviously, for the reason that it's a beautiful lake, but the mountain view is really not that bad. And you get the sun. You'll, you'll almost never get the sun on the lake view. So, anyway, Mr. Sun, what is it? Uh, about 9.30? Alright, so we're taking Seven down. Now with these micro spikes and the snow, I'd almost want to say that it's easier than during the summer. Because in the summer, it's just loose gravel. Not a lot of grip in this section here. Let's find out what these birds are. All right, so we got a red crossbill and a nut hatch. Those apparently are crossbills. It's mentioned in my first video about in Sparkling Hill, the Merlin bird ID. Highly recommend. It makes birding a lot easier and a little bit more exciting because you're not just hearing tweets, but you're identifying them quite, quite a bit more helpful, more motivating even. So I see on this setting here. I have it a. Uh, if it matters, if you have a, a shot on a Pixel Seven. But if you're filming with heavy movement and uh, stability is high, then uh, you can't shoot in 4K apparently. So I'll try to keep this steady. Looks like we got, I think these are, 
Those are rose hips. Maybe somebody could uh, confirm that in the comments. You can eat suck on those and eat, eat two on those, I believe, for, uh, for vitamins when you're in the nature. But again, I don't know if that's rose hips. Well, I feel like a billy goat here on this trail. I've dropped down really fast, but... Yeah, if you want to feel stable, definitely pick up some micro spikes. You can see it's only been a few minutes and you can just barely see the, the building there. I'm dropping down pretty fast. Now this trail that we're going to be attaching ourselves onto, I think it's number six, is Cougar. Oh, Cougar something. Oh, look what we have here. It's an old beehive. Swatted down. Interesting. Called Cougar. Cougar Trail? Cougar Run? Something like that. And <clears throat> we are bordering a town called Lake Country. And last week there has been news articles about some cougars, even a pair of them, hanging out in people's backyards. So, quite possible to get cougars in this area. but a little less likely being how built up it is. This Predator Ridge neighborhood is hoping to get to be a little bigger, about 5,000 5, people, and they're in the plans of making a gondola uh, right from the Highway 97 up. Just on six. Now we're on seven. All right, so we're going right <clears throat> from that junction. This is for the long way around. If you want to go left, you'll be much shorter. But uh, this is the longer route. Nice scenic, very quiet. Frozen. Beautiful. Works really well to if you can get it to fire start actually. It's a quite a I think I mentioned that last video. You have to watch the last video if you're wondering what I'm talking about here, but It's the thing with snow and it's so bright. It's one of the things I love about this area, but trying to get film is tricky. Oh, we're humans. That's cool. So this is the point where I started my spring video. You came up to this sign. Now if you do go right, I have been, that'll take you back up to basically the road. So yeah, we're here. It doesn't tell you where, but it's actually there. 
and then you'd go back to three and then you'd connect to the road. Yeah, quite a lot of trails around here we haven't done yet though. It's a nice viewpoint one apparently looking out onto the lake. Well, that was uh, interesting. I have a, a Garmin Phoenix watch, and it doesn't show this trail, which I find surprising. You know, it's on all trails. You can find this on Google Maps. But you'd think. That's what you'd find is a map on a Garmin. That's otherwise pretty good. Bobcat, Falcon Loop. We're doing Bobcat today. Bobcat, wait, I've been saying Cougar the whole time. No, I'm pretty sure it's Cougar. There you go for your listening enjoyment. Beautiful amount of birds around here. Now well, that's looking back up towards the resort. Can't see it at all. Now, when you look at that, where's my hand? You wonder, right? Either that's a big dog. Which they do have around here. I'd imagine the owners of these homes taking these trails a lot. Oh, this was good to get out. It's been quite a bit of gray, quite a bit of cold. Sort of deer or likely. Animals will often take to human trails because, well, we've camped it down quite nicely for them. Beautiful moss. Look at that. Growing on the north side. Oh, 
ponderosa pine. Long with the needles, spindly looking branches. Beautiful light though. This one's only about a hand width above the mountain. These are getting longer, so that'll be nice. Uh, minimal actual daylight. Uh, sun goes down, that'll be around four. Can't be any earlier. Or later, I mean. You see they take good care of the trail. All these trees here all got lopped off the lower half so they don't interfere with your walking. If you make a trail more enjoyable, more people talk about it, more people talk about it, more people use it. Yeah, it's beautiful at the Ponderosa how the sun hits it, it just has this golden browny yellow. I think it was that very tree that I stopped for my flower shot. We're putting in a few of those camera shots. You see a lot of people doing cutting it, walking back. I can see what it looks like. Looks like a lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of extra steps, but you know, so is drones. And the drone looks amazing, so the uh, YouTuber Mario Gala from Germany. Yeah. He does a, <clears throat> a lot of his hiking shots like that. I recently did recently discovered him and you know he does so with one leg and one artificial leg and I think that's amazing. So, I mean, it's extra steps, but it does get a nice shot. Yeah, and I do see why. Kind of gives you more perspective of the, of the human in the nature. Gives them Remember this part, but I'm a, I have seen the sign, and it's still. Hi! Oh, hi! There we go, friendly people. Took me by surprise there, little mini, mini dog.
Don't know where that trail goes, but this is the way I have been taking. for you Mario extra long cut so lovely and quiet the resort really is in a good spot you know on top of a mountain surrounded by trees there's not going to be any houses built anywhere near well there's not really any space to I wonder I don't think that'll change, so it's quite peaceful and relaxing when you're outside at the resort. And then we're going up that shortly. Now, if you go down there, I will take you down basically just below the resort. It's like a it's almost like a it's almost like a road to be honest. There. Yeah, that's almost like a road. I think there is a road that goes down I mentioned in my previous video where you can escape if the other side is blocked off with a forest fire. But we're not doing that. We're going up here. Called the deer trail. Okay, so we're going up six. Let's see how many. Let's see how high we go. My phone is working. All right. Apparently, we've ascended 158 feet in total, not continuously. Let's we'll see what it is at the end. Huge pine trees. And then one benefit here of the winter, we're going to get a better view than the spring because a lot of the foliage has fallen off. Now, not all of it. Uh, winter came so fast that it actually froze the leaves on, as you can see here. But we're already getting a glimpse through the trees of Okanagan Lake. And we're not at the top yet. Wow. It not too many people have come down this. All right. And then here we are, we're at Gurneys. Oops. Let's do that. There you go, that's the uh, 400 or so year old building they imported from Austria. Whoop.
Well, the sun peeking out here is quite nice. Over there in the valley. If you didn't watch my first video, that's called Canadian Lakeview Estates. Way back here. This is called Adventure Bay, a new Adventure Bay. Down there at the bottom is Kin Beach. Vernon's over this little mound. And then you've got a road all right here, all the way down the lake. Go back to Kelowna, West Side Road. Little communities of uh, Parker Cove. And you can really see the fires. They shouldn't look like, they shouldn't look like that. So bare, see I see uh, so much snow. There should be more green here, like straight ahead. You see it's more darker. You can see where the fire ravaged. And it looks spots, spotty. And here we got the um, resort on the back side. This is the lake view stuff. It's gonna be pretty hard to get that in view because it's so bright, but there you go. So there's the mountain views, or sorry, lake views. <laughs> And then starting here, he's got the pool, so they might be able to see some steam emanating from that. So you got steam and what's outside? It's just an outdoor pool. Oh, so elevation, 288. Okay, so that's about 130 feet. Again, since going on that switch back and I'm going up still. 292, yeah. But you're getting these amazing views. Beautiful. Thank you, birdies. Make this sound amazing. Thanks for hiking with me. I hope you're inspired to check this place out or share with me a place like it where you live. 